Yo guys, it's happy to be in Pro here, and today we are gonna map Cactus Escape. It's gonna be like a, a, li a, a video where, you know, I map something, and then I do some progress updates, and I'm gonna guide you through my day in mapping this map. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but before doing that, I wanna show you the new part that I created in these days. So, basically, we left, uh, we left, uh, oh wow, why is there a wolf of face here? I, I forgot to remove it, oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna stay here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but if you remember from the video I did a while ago, there is, there is like this part that I showcased, and then there is like a levitation pad up to here, and here there is a little easter egg too. Okay, but then after that levitation pad, you go through this tight way that I don't know what it does actually, okay, and then you are here. So, do, does this sound familiar to you? Because this may sound, why is game mode 3 not working? Uh, duh. Okay, okay, it was just lagging because it was doing the roof. Okay, but does this sound familiar to you? Well, if it doesn't, this is the map. Basically, this is the map for this thing right here. You can see. Uh, this map right here that now is gonna be empty because yeah, we, we put the, the walls up But anyways, let's remove everything all of the ceiling. Let's see when it removes because this thing right here is basically a uh, Sprint run and as you can see we can go in game mode 2 and you can hear a little sound I cannot hear it, but maybe you can so there is this little sound and you have to drive and do all of this stuff before the sound goes away. And there is also a little troll there. As you can see, if you follow the road, there is red and you have to jump for it. So that's a, that's a little troll. Did I do it in time? Did I do it? Oh my gosh. Uh, what? Oh my god. I missed it for a little second. Okay, let's try it again. I wanna, I wanna reach to do this. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I lagged. Okay, give me a sec. This has became my life now. We have to, we have to make it. I'm not gonna feel accomplished. Okay, nice. We made it just in the nick of time. Okay, so yeah, this is the new part, and I, I have no idea what to do. Maybe I have like, like a small idea. We have to press this button, and then the the ceiling is gonna drop, and it's gonna be like a, a dropper, a, a reverse dropper. Then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna drop all the way down. Even the floor is gonna drop, and you're gonna do all the way down to zero. And then there's gonna be some parkour or something. So I wanna do a little bit of a ability parkour bit because you know all the map was puzzled. Okay, so I just thought of an amazing idea. So we can put like here a button that drops the the this floor. So you have to go up, press the button, then fall down all the way to zero, like I said before. But now if you you know if you hit the ceiling, you're not gonna have enough levitation to hit the button. So that's easily done. We just have to do the right levitation. And let's do it now, okay? Okay, guys, I think I got it. This is it. Uh, this is it. We just have to make it last a little bit longer because now it ends here. It has to be like, I, I don't know, maybe we do 15? Is this too much? Is this actually too much? I, I, I'm afraid this may be too much. But at the same time, it, it gotta be hard, okay? This map has to be hard, okay? Can we do it in one second? One second, and do you think we can reach a button? Yeah, probably we can, but I better do like six. It may be a little bit better. I mean, I don't want to make it too tight. So is this okay? I feel like now we're gonna reach the button for sure. And yeah, we yeah yeah okay. This is maybe too much. We're gonna leave it at five and make the button a little bit lower. Maybe maybe that. But anyway, we got the levitation. So now it's just a, a matter of doing this. Test for block stone button. I think it's uh, thirteen if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, we do like this and test for block and we go like this. So oh my oh no oh no mistakes were made. This has to be conditional. Guys don't make the same mistakes that I do. So we have to make it so all of this gets set to air. I don't know if I'm gonna do destroy. I'm probably not gonna do destroy and add particles. So we're gonna add particles now. So as you can see this is gonna happen when you press the button and then you're gonna go up and then I'm gonna do all of the decoration in a time lapse. It's gonna be awesome guys. And now it will fill that to air and now it's gonna play a sound. What sound shall they play? Oh I know a good sound actually. We can do entity zombie break i think it was break okay they, okay yeah that's a good sound the middle is roughly here i guess so yeah and then we're gonna do like particle so probably smoke is gonna be good but we have to make it like a lot so let's see roughly is this towards negative z yeah that's towards negative z so we just have to do 10 like zero and maybe three i i don't know 
and then we do like a lot of smoke and oh wait this is the speed and then we do a lot of smoke and this is good like it doesn't seem like a lot of smoke maybe we're gonna do it uh, a little bit lower I don't, I don't know or maybe like this and we, we do even more okay well that lags that that lags the game I don't know if I wanna make it so lucky maybe uh, I mean it's good but the problem is that the smoke is not that much I don't know if it's gonna have a good effect maybe we're gonna do something else like explode Oh well, this is better. Maybe if you can texture the explosion green, it's gonna look 10 times better. Yeah, I may, I may do that, because I have a resource pack for this map. So now, we put even the particle here, but before doing all of that, I guess I forgot something important. And we have to move all of these command blocks a little bit further, because I have to add another command block here. And that command block is basically the... Well, I'm gonna show you right now. First, let's add the particle, and now we have to add the command that makes the block, uh, this block, back to unpressed. So it's not gonna do all the particle, you know, always. Then let's go. Nothing happens. That's just well. Oh, I'm dumb. I said test for block. No, I meant set block. Let's look up for the particles. Yeah, the particles goes. I'm going up and I'm gonna press the button and the button right here is gonna set the floor to air so we're gonna go down the floor and we're gonna fall to our doom so this is good now also I have to do that when I die if I die uh, I need to respawn like here so we have to do that this thing sets a spawn point too so it will set like a spawn point uh, I don't know here uh, let's do like this and then we have to do like a, a, an on death system so we have to detect if the player dies, because if the player dies, everything must reset. Uh, okay, so let's do a scoreboard. Scoreboard objectives add uh, on death, and we do death count. Okay, so this is gonna be our death objective. We're gonna add it here, because here is where we need it. We're gonna um, even copy the command block that adds it, just in case it gets deleted. And then we are gonna detect if a player has that score of 1. Someone has a score of 1, what he basically has to do is to set all of this area back to planks 4, I think it was. And okay. And then, after this is done, it's also gonna, you know, reset the score of the person that died. Scoreboard players reset at all uh, on death. And maybe at S, not at all. Okay, so now it works better and it doesn't have to be conditional. And this works, so let's see if when I die it resets. We're just gonna press the button once, wait a second, we have to do this, so it, it goes well. And then I'm gonna die, and then it's gonna make the ceiling go back again. This works perfectly guys, perfectly. So now we just have to put all of the obstacles in place, I'm gonna do this in a little time lapse and you know, it's gonna be funny.
Okay guys, so it's done. It has been done. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of it, I guess. Maybe it's a bit too hard though. We have to actually try it and see if you can do it because, you know, I, I doubt it. It's kind of hard. But, you know, we're gonna try and test it. And if, if it's too hard, we're gonna like uh, nerd it a bit and we're gonna tweak it. But basically the button is this. Uh, we, we're gonna do a button. Ah, I wish I had like a, another kind of button, but I only have this one. So maybe we're gonna we're gonna do this like orange, so it looks better. And we're gonna actually link the button right now to like give player stone. So I know when I pressed it because I'm gonna receive stone. As you can see, it will work. So we're gonna test it until we reach to do it. And we're gonna test it in game mode two. So I think the hardest part is this iron bar thingy. I'm probably gonna tweak this. I'm probably gonna do something different because you know it makes the game too hard. So I'm probably gonna do it on that side but not on this side. So it's gonna be more to this side I guess. Also probably I'm gonna remove this because you know it's too hard. After everything that you have done you cannot make this. Like it's literally impossible to make. Like I, I'm gonna, gonna remove this. If it becomes too easy then I'm gonna add it back. Also I think that I realized if you land here you, you can basically press the button and finish. Okay so th the objective is not pressing the button but actually landing there. So yeah, that may be that may make it a little bit easier knowing that. So now I'm gonna try to make it legit, knowing that I just have to land on the platform. Let's see if this is enough. Okay, yeah, because I touched, it was not enough just for a uh, a little second. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, th this could be actually perfect. We could have mapped it like greatly because look at that. I touched it and I made it. Okay, well that wasn't too hard. I I don't know. Okay, th I think this is the right difficulty. We we actually made it. Okay. So now we have to make the finish button, but first I know of a tweak we may do. So okay, this is the tweak that I will do. When you press the button, and now I'm gonna... Where is the... Okay, this. When you press the button, you're gonna have on your head um, a thing, a helmet, that is gonna remove all of your health. So as you can see, if you do this, uh, I'm gonna only have one heart, and it's also gonna give me the advancement, that's not good. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna have it, uh, Earthless Helmet, and it's gonna give all of that stuff. I also have to change the lore, because it was done for another map. So, yeah, I have to change it a bit, give me a sec. So, yeah, I have also added some, you know, decoration, I don't know, maybe it may look better. I'm probably gonna, okay, I'm gonna use slabs, I'm gonna make the ceiling a little bit more, I, I don't know, textured. Okay, so, this is what I wanted to do, it looks kinda neat, we have to do it on this side too, though. So we do something like this, oh yeah, okay, and now we should be done and ready to actually make the ending button that what it's gonna do is basically drop the floor underneath and it's gonna start the dropper and the funny story is that since I only have one heart, even if I fall from this, I don't die, okay, well that's, that's bad. Do I regenerate? Uh, I hope I don't regenerate. Yeah, it doesn't make me regenerate. So, yeah, I I cannot... Yeah, okay, I have to start the dropper at some point. I mean, yeah, oh my gosh, I can go all the way to here without starting the dropper. I mean, we have to change it a bit. We have to make it so you're forced to fall. But as you can see, after here, you're basically forced to fall. To fall, because if you go there, you die. So, yeah, here's that. So, you cannot cheat it a lot, you can cheat it a bit, okay? But, you know, people are not gonna cheat, I, I hope people are not gonna cheat. Well, what this is gonna do is basically gonna destroy the floor underneath, do the same particles, and yeah, it's gonna let you fall. And now we're gonna use another sound that is Entity Player Level Up, the very well-known, uh, this sound. <laughs> And now, well, the particles, we're gonna do it on another level. I think it's 52, right? Is this right? Uh, yeah, it's right. And now, I think we're done. We just gotta set up the test for block. Test for block. Go here, test for block. The button. And I don't know... Okay, no, oops. I'm, I'm bad. Stone button 3. 
I don't know how much it is. Okay, it's eight and zero. So we're gonna set it to uh, test it to eight. And if it's eight, it's gonna be set back to zero. And okay, nice. And now a command block that sets it black back to zero. And now we should be ready. Okay, that should work too. And maybe, maybe when I die, I also have to set this back to air and this is really 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 messed up messed up i don't like it at all okay wait i have to fix a bit the room okay nice sweet now we're gonna set this back to stone break to normal stone break so this is gonna be stone break and now it's gonna be a, a normal dropper up until zero so we're gonna set that to stone break and then we're gonna do that when we die it's gonna set also the thing back to stone break so this command block has to go a little bit there and then we're gonna set this to uh, not set block. No, wait. What is this? Uh, the fill command. Yeah, this one. And we're gonna put it here. And now everything should be ready. So kill and go here. The floor is back. And then we can do this. Go up. Okay, I failed, but I, I don't need to care. Uh, go up. Just go up and then continue. And then we don't need this. We go down. It's gonna do a sound effect probably and then I'm gonna try to drop okay maybe this could be too hard so I don't know but it's gonna continue and go down okay yeah it, it works and now the last thing if I die everything resets so yeah we, we did it guys I hope you really enjoyed this video it was a little bit different oh also um, why doesn't it clear my inventory yeah it must clear my inventory too because you know I don't want to have that forever so I'm gonna also do uh, wait I have to do this here I'm gonna do clear all iron helmets. So now when I die, it's also gonna clear my iron helmet and yeah, it works. Oh my gosh, I, I placed a, a command block. Anyways, dudes, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different than the ones that I usually do. This is about, you know, the inside of me mapping. I hope you really enjoyed it. I mean, I did because, you know, it's awesome to make videos while you also make other stuff that you love, like mapping. So, you know, for me, this video was a blast. I don't know for you guys. If you enjoyed it, naturally, you can hit the like button. Thank you so much for the subs and all the support that I've been receiving lately you guys are awesome as i said and i'm gonna see you guys in the next